treat a partially obstructed airway by encouraging the victim to cough. Coughing may be effective in expelling a foreign object. If the victim cannot speak, breathe, or cough, or only produces a weak, ineffective cough or high-pitched crowing noise, care for this as a complete airway obstruction. To care for a responsive choking victim, stand behind the victim and place your fist just above the victim's navel. Grasp your fist with your other hand and deliver quick inward and upward abdominal thrusts, also called the Heimlich maneuver. Repeat the abdominal thrusts until the foreign object is expelled or the victim becomes unresponsive. If the victim becomes unresponsive, position the victim on her back. Assess the victim and begin CPR if necessary, looking for an object in the throat each time the airway is opened. If the victim is large or in the late stages of pregnancy, use chest thrusts instead of abdominal thrusts. Chest thrusts are done by standing behind the victim and placing your arms under the victim's armpits encircling the victim's chest. If your rescue breaths fail to make the chest rise, it may be because the airway is obstructed. Since the tongue is the most common cause of airway obstruction in an unresponsive victim, reposition the head and reattempt your breaths. If you are still unable to make the chest rise, begin CPR. Each time you open the airway to provide your breaths, look for an object in the throat. If you see an object, remove it. To care for a responsive choking child, stand behind the child and position the thumb side of the fist just above the child's navel. Grasp your fist and deliver quick inward and upward abdominal thrusts, also called the Heimlich maneuver. Repeat the abdominal thrusts until either the foreign body is expelled or the child becomes unresponsive. If the victim becomes unresponsive, position the victim on his back, assess the child, and begin CPR if necessary, looking for an object in the throat each time the airway is opened. If you are alone, provide up to one minute of care. Activate the EMS system. And return to provide care for the child. If your rescue breaths fail to make the chest rise, it may be because the airway is obstructed. Reposition the head and reattempt your breath. If you are still unable to make the chest rise, provide CPR. Each time you open the airway to provide your breath, look for an object in the throat. If you see an object, remove it. The steps for relieving an airway obstruction for a responsive infant are similar to those for a responsive child. But instead of providing abdominal thrusts, give back blows and chest thrusts to relieve the obstruction. Once you determine that the infant is choking, Support the infant on your forearm and thigh with the head lower than the chest. Using the heel of your hand, give five back blows between the infant's shoulder blades. Roll the infant over onto his back as a unit while supporting the head and neck. With the head lower than the chest, deliver five chest thrusts in the same location you used for CPR. Repeat the series of back blows and chest thrusts until the foreign object is expelled or the infant becomes unresponsive. If the infant becomes unresponsive, assess the victim and begin CPR if necessary. Each time you open the airway to provide a breath, look for an object in the throat. If you see an object, remove it.